Hello learners, hope everyone is doing well. So this question here reads that stations is a list that contains the information about the sequence of stations visited by a train. Specifically, each element in this list is itself a list. So what are the elements of this list? It's arrival and departure. So let's see what is the what the elements stand for. The first element in stations corresponds to the starting station for the train and the last element corresponds to the ending station for the train. Now they are given here that wait time which accepts two parameters that is arrival and departure is a procedure that accepts the arrival time and the departure time of a train at a given station as input and returns the waiting time at the station in minutes. We wish to find the average waiting time across all intermediate stations. This here is to be noted, intermediate stations. Where the train stops and store this result in the variable average or AVG as it's given here. The pseudo code may have mistakes. Identify all such mistakes if any. And here it's given that it's a multiple select question. So in the first line of the pseudo code, it's clear that the variable total, count and average have been assigned the value 0. For each x in init of rest of stations. So this line right here might be a little confusing. I think a visual representation should help. So we have this list called stations which is essentially a list of lists so just for representation let's take four elements and each of these elements has two elements in it which is the arrival and the departure sequence for each train so what's happening here first we take rest of stations what is rest of stations it takes every other element except the first one and then after that this particular list is fed into init what init does is it excludes the last element so essentially we get the intermediate stations of the train which was what was given here now let me just clear the screen yes so for each x in init of rest of stations total is equal to total plus the wait time which takes two parameters that is the first element of x and the last element of x now just a reminder that x is an iterator and it iterates through each element of stations and each element of stations has two elements in it which is the arrival and the departure timings of the train. Now we increment total by this difference or the waiting time of the train and then we count the number of stations that the train has stopped at and then this loop continues until completion. So once we exit the loop we see that if count is not equal to 0 that means if the train is at least stopped in one station we take the average which is the total wait time divided by the number of stations the train has stopped at and that gives you the average wait time. So we see that in this particular pseudo code there is absolutely no error and it's a working code. So your correct option is the last option which is no error. Thank you learners.